So what's up, everybody? How y'all doing tonight? Yeah. yeah. I'm doing good. I'm gonna try to make you laugh, but I need to address a couple of things. But I need to add something to the list. This all stays a little weak. So I know y'all wanna laugh, but if I bust my shit, please, can you make sure I'm alright first? Can you make sure I'm alright, please? Alright? But I need to get a couple of things out the way. You know, my act is all different. I touch on base on a lot of different things. And I'm not, I don't cater to sensitivity. You know, I really believe like sensitivity, we learn on the walls of vaginas. And if that's true, you gotta get back to your fucking wall before I start. You feel me? You want me to get this out of the way, alright? Cool. Alright? You know, I don't sit down, I don't deal with shit like that. But um, one of the things I want to touch on is that uh, I was telling with my nephew the other day, he was watching Animal Planet, and they were showing something about uh, the Bengal tiger. And it says that the Bengal tiger, there's only so many hundreds of them left, so they're becoming extinct. And he really felt bad. And he's like, you know, Uncle Ernesto, you know, this shouldn't be extinct, this should be bullies, because bullies are bad. And I was like, I agree with you. But I go, you know who should be extinct? Skinny niggas. And let me tell you why. Them niggas are fraudulent. I'm gonna tell you straight up. Skinny niggas, I know you chicks be like, oh, that nigga eat fine with his abs. That shit ain't fucking on purpose. That nigga hungry. So it's like attraction. That nigga was suffering. You know what I'm saying? And y'all be like, oh, but I know the skinny niggas who eat plenty. You know why? Because that nigga was hungry a long time, baby. Okay? Okay? Fraudulent motherfuckers. No, you have to go. But he got a little chest and all that. No, he don't. Them niggas got fat nipples. Real shit, fed up. You put like two, three white feeders and shit. So you be thinking them niggas got a frame and shit. But on the day, them niggas built like Bruce Lee. You be like, those skinny chested niggas. And you know, and I don't think they should be extinct because they don't make shit bad for niggas like me. Look, I ain't hiding nothing. This is a fucking soup. You let me go home and shit, but I gave baby make it easy on you. I'm take 80 pounds off. And shit, you know what I mean? This is what you get. You know what I mean? What you see is what you get. You know frauds with motherfuckers, you always do that. I saw a nigga the other day, the nigga was so skinny, I thought he was wearing jeans, but when the nigga got next to me, he was sagging his spandex. And the only reason I knew that nigga was sagging his spandex, because the nigga had on his shit inside out, and the motherfucking tag looked like a fucking pocket. The nigga was so skinny. Skinny motherfucker, ratchet ass nigga. You know, that's what they do. No, seriously, nowadays, that's what they do. Now listen, as I get older, you know, um, I sit there and I know this shit about my friends that are fucking annoying, but they've been doing it for over fucking 20 years and I just not realize. You ever hang out with that one nigga you chilling? He always want to tell you a story and shit. He's like, yeah, nigga, you know, this, that, and the other, but he won't stop the story for no matter what's happening. So they're hanging out in the store, in the circle and shit. So a nigga talking, he's like, yeah. So the other night he said, I went over there, you know, I caught some of the fat bags. And I was like, Oh, you playing charades, nigga? Oh, alright. You're playing charades now, nigga. Pass that shit, cut that shit out, nigga. You know? But let me tell you, there's a few things that really bother me, and I know y'all know. Why is it that the fattest bitch gotta drive the smallest car? What? That's no, seriously. I know they be thinking that shit is cute, but it's not shoes, bitch. It's a fucking car. You know what I'm saying? Oh, when you see the bitch wanna sit there, wanna be all up, wanna be stuffing too much of your jeans. They're jeans, bitch, not a levy. Don't go break them, motherfucker. Roll your own. Play your part. You know what I mean? But I ain't just picking on ladies. Hey, hey, fellas, too. I got a couple of friends, and he think I'm gonna be picking on them, but I'm not. Well, let me tell you, when you black, I mean, like, black, don't wear yellow, don't wear white, don't wear bright red. Don't make no fucking sense. You know what I mean? You too black, you're like five shades a night. Don't do it. Don't do it. It's not good. You know what I'm saying? Not good at all. Is it windy in here, motherfucker? <laughs> I'll try to hold it like this, y'all. Hold it like this. I apologize. I don't know why. It feels like it's windy up with this bitch. It shouldn't be that way. I'm sorry. All right. Also, things that I need to touch on that really get me is as you get older, you notice that people start to sit there and look at you. You're fucking like real old. I'm only 42. Let me tell you, 42, I look real fucking good. Yeah, you do. I don't know a lot of you chicks out there. You're looking for a sugar daddy and shit like that. But you ready? Check it out. Oh, this nigga on a budget, that's Nutrisweet, baby. <laughs> 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 so come up there looking for a sugar daddy. Come on, 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 come on
for a fucking drink. If you come see me, I'm gonna sip off your shit. <laughs> and if you wanna talk to me, I suggest you have two fucking straws in your shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? Just be honest with ourselves. You know, you gotta do these things at times, you know? Also, one of the biggest things that gets me is um people, the shit they keep for pets, you know? One of my buddies' house, it's fucking, you know, four-year-old daughter comes out. She has a fucking ferry. Scared the shit out of me. I've never seen a fucking ferry before. He's like, Ernesto, why you acting like that? He's like, you're from New York City, so must be a thug. Then you have roaches and rats. I'm like, I'm going, yeah, motherfucker, but my father stepped on those things. You don't have to fuck with them. He's like, really? He's like, oh, he's like, you're supposed to be a tough guy on the street. I'm like, look. And I went out on the street, you know, I prepared to deal with another motherfucker. I ain't prepared in case of a rat attack. <laughs> no fucking be a roach gonna come up on me. Look, think about it, look at me. I don't fuck around. I don't like nothing that's small and quicker than me. Let's do that. Now that nigga brought it up, I don't think I like his fucking kids. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? You know what I mean? be honest about that. Also, the things about individuals and shit is that they sit there and they like to be phony. You know, like, MTV's got this TV show called Catfish, right? I don't know how many I see it, but Catfish is got phony ass motherfuckers looking for love. So you see that thing you're talking to this chick, and she turns out to be somebody else. So after further research, come to find out, Catfish is Latin for fucking Facebook. Phony's <laughs> motherfuckers on Facebook. Y'all know it, very ratchet motherfuckers, right? We all know, we all got a friend like this on our friends list. Sit there and be like, yo, my son being recruited in 66 schools and shit, nigga top of his class, all American. But if you go through his profile photos, the last one he got, the little nigga six months. So I'm fucking involved on it. You know what I mean? So now you sit there, you get chicks, always want to be posting something about what's going on in their life, this, that, and the other. Be like, oh, my son, he just sat there, he took 17 steps. He's such a big boy. You turn around, bitch, he's sprinting. Get off the fucking computer. You pay attention to your kid. You know what I mean? Also, there's a motherfucking cropping. Apparently, a lot of people don't know that feature. You know what I mean? You get chicks and shit, they're like, oh, Friday night, YOLO. Hey, bitch, I'm gonna go to the dresser. You know what I'm saying? You're gonna go to the bathroom. You're gonna go to the bathroom. You're gonna be saying that in the motherfucking blunt. So they're like, yo, no, but your fucking fingernails are busted. <laughs> it doesn't make sense. That shit is just crazy. You know? Then, you sit there, you get these individuals who always want to make it seem like shit is good. They'd be like, oh, they'd be like, oh, it's his law, it's not mine and shit. You post shit like that every day, you crying. You crying inside. You crying inside. You know, there used to be a time where, you know, you just sit there, and chicks be like, you know, oh, you have to have a J-O-B if you want to be with me. Oh, hell no, standards have dropped. They don't give a fuck. What a nigga got to be like, please, Lord, send me a man, any man. Fuck, then he got something, a benefit card, any card, all these can spike something. Really? It's got to become like that now? That got you? Damn, It's fucking amazing. So, one of the things I start to notice is, as we get older, we don't fight like we used to. We ain't got the skills that we used to anymore. So if you get into an altercation with another motherfucker, you gotta sit there, you gotta come up with something clever to get the nigga to stay the fuck off your back. You know what I mean? You don't really wanna fight the nigga, but if you figure if he can be louder and more ignorant, the nigga ain't gonna want to fucking fucking test him. So you sit there and nigga bump you and shit. Like, hey nigga, did you go and fucking see me that? I'm sorry, man. I'll buy you another drink. Nigga, you better buy me another drink, nigga. I just said that. Oh, you think you're motherfucking smart? I'm gonna do you like a motherfucking laxative. Nigga, why you wanna do that? Look at nigga. Ask about me. Hey, you know this nigga? Nah, I don't know that nigga. Hey, nigga, he don't know you. Hey, but like, look, nigga, you better check my record. Now think about that, y'all. Really think about it. Check his record in a fucking street fight. Who the fuck in an archive that? <laughs> you know what I mean? and, and how do you think about all kind of like, do you wait for a motherfucker to sit there and shit like, oh shit, I tweet like that. You know, it's Big Rick, I'm gonna be at the club back tonight, hot bitches. So he gonna sit there and like, wait for something to pop off, so he's sitting there all night and shit, and all of a sudden the motion comes up, big old shit, one more, more drink, baby. But who is it? He's like, shit. Oh shit, it's Eastside Ricky at it again. The last time this nigga was in a fight was 09, when somebody accidentally stepped on the nigga's shoes. He said the nigga record is 46 and 3. 
We'll be 46 and 4, but he said he didn't want to hit that bitch back. <laughs> Damn. Damn. Wow. But before I go, I just want y'all to do me a favor. A lot of y'all in here got kids. Got kids. Just do me a favor. Seriously. It ain't fucked up. Go home. Was it me sleeping, playing on the motherfucking video game, watching the movie, babysitting, doing this shit. Get the bump and whoop they can. <laughs> Seriously, fuck them up. And when it's all over and they're wiping their tears, this shit is sitting there, look at you go, you ain't do that, man, I ain't do nothing. You look them dead in their eyes and say, you will, you little motherfucker. You will. That's my time, y'all, Big Aaron. Thank you. Bad Give it up, big fucking Aaron! Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Aaron. I hate to see you leave, bro. I like watching you walk away with that little fatty you got.